What's up guys, Zach Hample coming to you from Warner Park here in Nebraska. Got some minor league action. The AAA Storm Chasers play here. They are a Royals affiliate. And there is no batting cage on the field behind me. No batting practice today, unfortunately. So sad face, but there's all kinds of fun stuff that's gonna be happening. And there's someone standing right there who needs to come over here because He's gonna make it happen. This is Nick, everybody. Zach, good to see you. Great to be here. Now, this dude is a broadcaster for the team, has a really interesting story. So, we are gonna chat a little bit later, but the players are not even here yet. So, any thoughts for how we can get this day started? The players aren't hitting. Do you want to? Really? Yeah. The batting cages are over there, out, out behind the outfield. I mean, yes. So, that's it, just go there yeah, and hit. We can head over. The first of hopefully many fun things today. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the home clubhouse in here, and oh look, you can even see a sign. I wasn't lying. Boom. So I just love all this behind the scenes access. Come on in. All right. I'm just gonna do a few bicep curls. Maybe not. Thank you. Woo, okay. Bringing it. Woo. <laughs> and that's Sorry, what videographer. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think we'll end there because you got to finish on a good one and you got to finish by picking up the balls. So let's do that. These are official major league balls that are not in great condition for the field, but as far as smacking them around in a batting cage, they do the job. Oh, this one has spider webs on it. I don't know if this one you hit. This one has eluded everybody for the last, I don't know, long time. But I'm a trained professional. I'm good at spotting baseballs. And I did not break the bat. So, or myself. So that was a success. Now, soon after I made it back out to the field, the players started showing up, and as you can see, they were playing everything other than baseball. So this dude right here was throwing a frisbee, and these guys over here were playing hacky sack. Look at this slick move, catching it on the brim of his cap. And this right here is Joe Barlow throwing a pass to his teammate Evan Sisk, who keeps his feet on the grass, then does his little touchdown celebration, because why not? And over here on the left, you can see Taylor Hearn. He's pitching the majors and Walter Pennington doing his arm exercises. And so I saw that the visiting team was out there hitting some fungos. This is coach Vince Harrison working with the infielders. What a treat to be this close to the players and the coaches just doing their thing. Minor league games, just unbelievable access. And again, huge thanks to Nick for hooking this up and making it happen. And by the way, I was a shortstop my whole life, played baseball in college a bit, so I always love watching infield work. This is Storm Chaser's first baseman, Devin Mann, doing some drills. And look at this, Nick was showing me some game notes and stats that he was preparing. His work is truly endless. Like I said, we'll talk to him in just a bit. So as the Storm Chaser's pitchers started to get loose and play catch, well, look where I was hanging out. Just chilling there, sitting on the edge of the stands. This was my view, and you can see right here, this is Max Castillo. 
getting loose. And look at this guy right here. This is Christian Chamberlain, and I just love his pitching mechanics. Watch this. The toe tap brings the leg back up. That's good stuff. And you can see what I said here. I want to throw. So for all the minor leaguers out there, or the future minor leaguers, if you see me at a stadium, and I'm on the field, and I have my glove, give me a wave and let's play catch. YouTube will absolutely love it. But anyway, it was time for the next order of business. Okay, now that the players have warmed up and former Blue Jays and Royals infielder Ryan Goins has watered the infield dirt, I want to take a minute or three, just chilling here in the dugout, to catch up with the man, Nick Batters, whose official title here is... I am the Broadcast and Media Relations Manager for the Omaha Storm Chasers. Love it. And so, let's just go back in time for a moment, all right? On the screen right over here, you can see an old blog entry that I wrote in 2011. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is a photo there that I'm gonna put full screen because, well, you can see me there and this young man holding two baseballs and copies of two of my books. Well, that is Nick at the age of... 13. Wow, that is a throwback for you guys. So, you grew up in the Bay Area? I did, yeah. Went to a ton of A's games? A whole lot of A's games. My and family Giants? Still a, mostly A's. Okay. Yeah. Family, family still, still has season tickets. Okay. And you were a big collector, right? You caught yeah. a lot of baseballs? 561 major league balls. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Any big ones? Game home runs? A or couple what? of game home runs, but nothing too exciting. Fellow ball hawk right here. Yeah. So, okay. So, going through the years, like getting older from there, at what point did you decide you wanted to pursue broadcasting, and how did you get into it? I went to Arizona State for sports broadcasting, and I worked my way up the baseball ladder from indie ball to rookie ball. I worked in the Australian Baseball League, and then AA and now AAA here with the Rocks. And that journey took how many years? Uh, this is my seventh season. And you're 25 now, yeah. so he's already been at it for a while. A, a grizzled veteran at the age of 25. And so I'm sure that there's a lot of people, a lot of kids watching this who might aspire to do what you're doing, yeah. be a broadcaster, so is there any advice that you could offer people? Two things. One, get as much experience as possible because the only way to get better, just like players, is to practice and then be nice to everyone. You know, talking about practice? Meet, talking about practice. <laughs> and, and be nice to everyone. You never know how one interaction with somebody can shape your future, so be nice to everyone. You never know how they could help you out down the road. Love it. So, I mean, do you have any family connections to pro ball or announcing or anything? No. You did this all as an outsider getting to the inside. Exactly, yeah. That's incredible. And by the time you guys see this video, this man here will have announced in the big leagues. You want to tell people about that? Yeah, next weekend I'm going up to Toronto with the Royals to be on their radio team for a series against the Blue Bills. Incredible. So, uh, this is not the last time that you will see Nick in this video or on your smart devices or television sets because he has a long career ahead of him as a broadcaster. So, really cool to say that I knew him when and as a beeping vehicle goes past the dugout, my man, Jack, thank you for you. taking the time. This is awesome. Hey man, what's How going on? Ryan, you going? Ryan, yeah, I yeah, just wanted to say hey. Yeah. You once threw me a baseball. Come on. So thank you. That's it. For adding to my collection. That's nice. So one, two, three. Wait, what? Oh! All right. Well, I didn't have to raid the ball bag after all. There were a couple of these babies just waiting for me in the seats. So this is the press box. Okay. Where I spent far too much time. Yeah. Well, it's good that uh, one of us is hard at work right now. So this is the packet that I put together before each game. That's a lot of stuff. And how much of this is committed to memory? A whole lot of it. Okay, <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you still with me? 
that's yeah, did the bottom of the zone is what it was. I don't think it's going to remeasure. It has to be. Or Frank White, Buck Martinez. This is my office. Let's go see Nick's office. Now this is a nice view right here. How about you? So, do foul balls smack off the windows here? Not really, no. Because you're it's too the, close you're just to... just below the net. Oh, the, yeah, now. and also the angle is... Yeah. I've gotten two foul balls of broadcasting in my life. One of them was last year, it was a foul bunt that just popped over the net. Wow. It was Christian Texas. And on the fly? No. I dropped it. Oh, no! I, I caught one on the fly. It Mr. Was... 561 baseballs yeah. couldn't make the play. You know who makes plays, though? This guy, my new BFF. Love you, Bobby. It's always cool to hit up the media level and I will be back there later in the game, but I decided to head downstairs for now and then I ran into the mascot and exchanged hats with him. That was kind of fun. And for right now, the gates are open and I only have about 15 minutes free until the next thing so I am looking for something good to eat right now. Hi there, I'd love to try that cheesy brisket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Thank you so much. That looks amazing. Wow. Get a shot of this. The cheesy brisket Sammy. Man. All right. I'm going for it. It's very hot. Mmm. And very, very good. Oh my god. That's legit. So good. Bring the cord down in between the paddle, the panels of the backstop, like down there, and so that'll pick up the crack of the bat nice and crisp. This guy does everything, and I pretty much have my arm loose for the ceremonial first pitch. I'm Cal. Nice to meet you, Cal. What a name. The Louisville Bats drew a bases loaded walk in the top of the first and then they tried to tag up on a fly ball to right field but that runner got nailed at the plate so that cut short a potential big inning and yes guys I know it's not pronounced Louisville but is it Louisville or Louisville? Anyway, uh, bottom of the first right now and I should probably stand up because there is a righty at bat, Edward Olivares. So, wait, I'm ready. That's a ground out to third, one hopper, the throw over to first base. 
Yep, that is the end of the first inning. I'll sit back down. It's just so beautiful out here. And of course, having this berm to run around on, much better than having to deal with seats and steps and railings. So I'll be out here for a few innings and then there's another thing that I'll be doing after that. So I just came over here to check out the bullpens and I see a little, just like almost white thing in the grass and I'm like, can it be? Is there just something sitting over here? Why yes, as a matter of fact there is. So that's fun. And also, for the record, I do not count minor league baseballs in with my major league total, but you know, it's still fun to snag them. Oh, look at that one. I knew it. Wow. I I said, as soon as I left, I'm like, watch, they're gonna hit one to left field. And they did, but you know, these things happen. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah. All yours. Thank you. Sure. Lord Percy of Census Federal Credit Union. Let's take a look at the video, Lord. ball what is it bottom of the fourth inning right now I think I heard it it sounded like a foul ball that might sound crazy but trust me I know the sound there it was skipped up off the back wall you want it I, I've got some all right wow yeah you can see it's well it's smudged but official major league baseball Sixth inning, about to get underway, and I am jumping on the air with Nick Batters. Here at the top of the sixth inning, chatting with Ball Hawk, baseball YouTuber. Can we call you a social media influencer, Zach Campbell? You can call me whatever you want. I feel like the word influencer has dirty connotations, but sure, content creator. Content creator. I wasn't even sure how to introduce you because you're you're a jack of all trades at this point. Yay! Oh, two pitch. Zach of all trades. A Zach of all trades. Oh, that's see, that's clever. Can I just say? that I ate the brisket sandwich. Cheesy brisket sandwich. The cheesy brisket yeah. at Poli's. Yeah. That is one of the best items that I've eaten at any stadium, including Major League this year. And I've, I've been to 16 Major League stadiums. It was so good. So good. I'm just going to clip that and we'll use it in advertising moving forward. That's all right. Zach Hample yeah. says, eat the 
cheesy brisket sandwich at Poli's. You will catch foul balls. Wow! Sam Birch, the umpire, was right on top of that. Dave Novarito, Omaha's third base coach, can't believe it. Did he overslide the base, maybe? He might have. Because it looked like he got in there. It looked like he totally beat that. Oh, yeah, he came off the base, huh? Edward Olivares, Omaha's DH. First pitch. Bounced over the mound to the right of second. Hernandez fields it on a hop high at his eyes. His throw to first ends the sixth inning. Zach Campbell, really appreciate you stopping up, hanging out for, for an inning. Been good to see you today. So good to see you, and uh, everybody stay tuned for the YouTube video. We go to the seventh inning, 5 nothing. the Louisville Bats have the lead. Damn, this guy is good at his job. Oh, my God. The way he calls the action and knows all the players and the stats and who's on the bench. Did you drive in the pitch? I mean, and it's so seamless. You asked me before the game, what's the best piece of advice I can give? It's practice. I've got over 500 professional games at this point, so it's all, I'm all about doing it over and over. When you were a kid, were you just watching games on TV and calling it like you I were? Was, I was never that kid. No, I was just like locked in watching. Wow. I would I would fall asleep. I got a like a little AM FM radio one year for Christmas. And I'd like put that under my pillow and listen to the A's game as I went to sleep. Wow. Who's your favorite announcer? I mean, I grew up with Ken Korak with the A's, him and Vince Catronio. But now I've, I've grown to personally know the folks with the Royals, so they've all been really good to me. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. I'll get out of here. That was a long inning. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope I'll get to see you after the game. Absolutely. Yeah, so Make it happen. All right. Appreciate you. You the man. You too. And uh, see you in a bit. I think I have to go do a T-shirt toss right now. So off we go. Enjoy. All righty. a whole lot of fun. I don't think I've ever gotten to chuck t-shirts in a t-shirt toss. And so right now, bottom of the seventh, the bats are on top, six nothing. And I've decided I'm gonna play for foul balls for the last, well, I might finish the game here, we'll see. But it was just so much fun to grab one that bounced over before. I actually got another foul ball after that. We weren't filming, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's no competition. It's really not that far to hit one over the grandstand, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, 
no live. Well, no, he's the YouTuber, so. There you go. Tonight happened to be opening night for college football here in Nebraska, so that definitely put a dent on the attendance at Warner Park. And when the bottom of the ninth rolled around, Zach decided to head closer to the dugout because why not? We figured it'd be three quick outs, get a glimpse of the players and coaches up close, and then Zach would be back on his way to Kansas City. But man, the Storm Chasers started crushing it. John Rave started things off with a single, and then Nate Eaton ripped a double down the left field line. After an RBI ground up by Logan Porter, we got to see the second home run of the game. Angelo Castellano hit that one to straightaway left field, and yeah, it hurt Zach not to be out there making a play, but still cool to see the home team coming alive. They cut the bats lead to one run and got the potential winning run on first base, but unfortunately, Edward Olivares went down swinging to end the game. And by the way, that's a guy who's played four seasons in the major leagues. Anyway, speaking of getting up and close, Zach got to see all the bats players and coaches from the corner spot in the front row next to the dugout. The Bats won the game by a score of 5-4. to four. Really interesting for him to see all of the guys head back out onto the field and walk towards the clubhouses deep beyond the left field wall. Now we find ourselves here in the left field corner of Warner Park wrapping things up. Zach, really good to see you, my man. Boy, doing a video with an announcer is great. I don't even have to think or work. That was fun. Um, thank you for that. You're welcome. And thank you for everything tonight. This was so damn cool. Again, even without batting practice, even without batting practice and being in the booth with you for that inning, seeing you doing your thing. And I got four foul balls during the game, only spending a couple of innings going for it. I think I could have hit double digits on foul balls if I really went for it. Yeah. And then I found three others. So seven balls total. We don't count them, but still fun. And good night for you. I mean, yeah. Results on the field aside. Yeah. I always appreciate a, a well-played baseball game. They made it interesting to the nine. Not much more we can ask for. Where can people find you and or the Storm Chasers online? I'm at Batter Up Sports on Twitter and Instagram, but at Omaha Storm Chasers on social media, everything, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're probably on there. I love it. So in the description for this video, I'll put all that info there. I will also link to my playlist on my channel of all the minor league games that I've done. There will be more coming your way, not sure about this season, but one thing that's gonna happen, we will do a behind the scenes video with this guy at the big league level someday. Put it in the books. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good luck yeah, to you, man. It's so good it. to see you. You too. And I'll be back at Kauffman Stadium tomorrow. So that's that again. Great hanging. Likewise. Thank you guys for watching.